How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, welcome back to another episode of Seven Days of Die. My name is Smojo, my good friends, and I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, you know, watching the video. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. We are in some cold, cold weather. It's snowing outside, and I can barely see the trader. Really, really cold. Actually, I'm freezing. Apparently, I need to take uh, take some shelter. But we're not gonna take any shelter. We're big men, okay? We're big men. Freezing or not, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do our thing, right? And what is that today, my good friends? I have no idea. I know I want to do one thing though. Are they marching or something? What they got going on? Hello. As long as you're not marching towards my base, we have no problems. We have no problems. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Hope you guys find your destination. Um, but I do want to do one thing today, right? And that one thing is creating the auger. Now, if we uh, search up the auger here, we can actually make this guy. And to make this guy, we need... Pretty much everything we already have except the bicycle handlebars which we can easily make that or the motor tool parts now do we have those parts because i've been checking them guys away we got plenty of those parts so we got the motor tools let's go ahead and get this out of inventory actually we got the motor tool parts then we need like 30 of this so we got that we need the bicycle handlebars which i'm pretty sure we don't have we need an engine check that off the list um yeah we just need the bicycle handlebars which uh handle Oh man, a lot. It's a lot, but a little. Nothing we can't handle for the most part. Let me drink some water because I need to. So we need duct tape, leather, mechanical. Okay, we we have all of this. I just don't feel like getting it all out. <laughs> I'm being honest. We need the mechanical. We need the duct tape. We needed the spring. We needed the leather. We needed the pipes. I think that was everything. Pretty sure. Yes, sir. There we go. And then we should be able to make the auger. Should be able to. You all right? We have... Uh... Yeah, we got everything but the, uh, the bicycle camera. Arch. That's the only thing we need. I've never used the auger before. I'm actually kind of excited to use this. I know you get this. This is like like the in-game, pretty much the best of the best mining tool in the entire game right here. The auger. And I've never made it before until now. It's the auger, and then you also have the chainsaw. This is for, like, the wood the wood type stuff, but uh, I haven't had the schematic for that yet, so we can't really, you know. <laughs> that's still a, a little bit down the line. You know, got to do some more quests for that one. Put all this stuff up. We're not going to need it anymore. But that was pretty cool. And I also noticed that last episode, I think a few episodes ago, uh, we actually had learned, I think it was metal? It was, like, some armor. That we had learned. Let's uh, yeah, the iron chest armor. So we learned iron. Ugh, these are level one though. It's kind of nasty. I'll be honest. Kind of nasty. Definitely not gonna be worth to craft it, considering myself is higher level. What up? What do you even have to learn here for you to be able to craft higher level armor? Probably heavy armor, right? Specializing in shooting yourself with iron and still becoming the stopper behemoth on the battlefield. Uh, crab level two, uh, poor heavy armor. Yeah, that makes sense. Movement is seven penalty by five percent. Over reduces heavy armor movement. Wait, what? You get movement reduction if you wear heavy armor? When did I see it here though? Oh, this is light armor. This is heavy armor. Mobility, eh? I never knew that. I never knew that until now that you actually get, um, you get penalized for that. That's crazy. Light armor, heavy armor, heavy armor. I have a lot of heavy armor. My mobility right now is negative 18%. No, 24. Because all I have is uh, heavy armor except this. Wow. I never noticed that until now. Has this been treated? Yeah, it's a treat infection. Okay. Because 33.4% is not nice. You're not happy about the 33.4% at all. I didn't know that, though, like, at all. That's pretty cool. Now I know. So a heavy armor allows you to craft higher level armor, and then um, it reduces that stamina penalty, which is, which is uh, really nice. And it increases their ability as well. So, you know, there's that. 
And I guess light armor would probably be in agility. Yeah, light armor right here in agility. Let's see. Reduces light armor movement penalty by 15%. Set on penalty by 10%. Increases durability. I was hoping that it would increase speed. <laughs> I was hoping it would do that. I think that's for uh, agility in general. I think if you just upgrade agility, you just get faster. Or at least dexterity is very impressive, you know what I mean? Moving fluid and landing your feet, you know, a second nature to you, you know what I mean? So I think that'll like make you faster. I think, I might be completely wrong with that, by the way. There's a chance, but we have the auger now, which is freaking amazing. We just need to get some, uh, some gas to put in here so we can actually use it. Uh, which, honestly, uh, I was about to say, honestly, I don't know if we have. How do we fill it up? Oh, it's like reload. Cool. I like it. I want to use it now. I want to use it on something. Let's go use it on something. Um, uh, we could just use it on this down here, right? Yes. The only bad thing is it makes a lot of noise and it, it attracts uh, zombies. I like how fast that is. Like, that's not bad at all. And I can... Speaking of this, dude has been leaving a comment, like, almost every video. So, we're going to finish this out. He's like, make the pit deeper so that zombies won't be able to hit your pillars. <laughs> and they die from fall damage. I don't think they're going to die from fall damage. But I do agree on the pillar situation. That noise it's like a pure noise i think it's me but it's scaring me a little bit pretty sure that's me though there you go there you go He's shooting at what are you shooting at oh was that a screamer that was definitely a screamer good job you did your you did your job i appreciate that I think this thing counts as like a pickaxe and a um, shovel. Let's see. Attacks per minute is 304. Attacks per minute on this one is 56. So it's like, what's that? Six times faster than the pickaxe. But a pickaxe block damage is 113 while this one is 28. 113. So if you, if you multiply 28 times six, you pretty much get, you know, it's, it's pretty much higher than this pretty much in a nutshell i think i'm gonna use uh this instead of the the pickaxe then i'm gonna put this tool away i'm not gonna take the attachments off of it though because i kind of want that and we already have this so 50 percent more damage against stone we want that against iron we want that um and i guess we could get rid of the shovel that we have because it counts as a shovel anyways and i, I want the grave digger as well so We'll do that. Disgusting creature, you disgusting creature. He's, oh, I gotta reload each and every time. That's kind of nasty. But still, I like it. Let's make it deeper. Look how much stone I'm getting, man. That's actually kind of crazy. My SMG is saving my life right now. I'm not even, I'm not even worried. I'm not even paying attention to it, but I just know it's saving my life right now. All these gunshots going off. It's got to be. that all right we made it deeper we made it deeper <laughs> i still want to keep somewhat of a slope here for the um for the stairs i mean i guess i could like place these stairs down right it wouldn't hurt one thing about the auger though if you guys haven't noticed already it's allowed right which means it attracts zombies so keep that in mind if you ever were to use the auger 
just know it attracts zombies now i have heard that like instead of like holding down um the button that you use to like activate the auger you could like tap it like that and it helps a lot but i don't think it's as fast as if you were to hold it down and we could do something like this that's nice do I, have, I have wood on me so i can just go ahead and upgrade these just a little bit yeah that'd be fine nice so now it's a little bit deeper it'll fall a little bit further and everything not too bad not too bad not too bad i completely neglected the block over here but i don't i honestly don't even think i need this realistically i just have it just to look nice but i like for over I, I just you, you don't need it it's useless to have you don't need it uh oh there we go there we go yeah, here they come. I'm gonna let my, I'm gonna let my mini gun deal with you. All it took was one shot and you died. Pathetic. But you brought all your brothers and sisters here to come kill me. I don't appreciate that. I do not appreciate that at all. I do not appreciate that. There's probably more of them coming too. Good job. Yep. Damn. Any more? No? Alright, maybe that was all. Maybe that was all. But yeah, we got an auger now, so I'm a little bit excited about that. I'm a little bit happy. Thank you for the auger. Got a lot of wood from that, too. Uh, not wood, but uh, a lot of stone from that and clay. Couldn't put all that up. Oh, not parts. Miscellaneous. There we go. Alright, either way, what are we going to do today, Ferb? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. I'm thinking quest. <laughs> we need to level up more, bro. We're at day 20. And we still don't have a lover action rifle. At all. Um, we still need to level this up to even craft it. Which, I mean, we need to level up one time. So we're mad close to leveling. One quest, we should be there, right? Realistically. Day 20, 1200. We can get that quest done over there. And then maybe we could do a nighttime quest afterwards. I think that's a good game plan. Nighttime quest afterwards and then just completely prep. Make sure we get all our... Where's my bike? Oh. Make sure we reload all of our guns and refill all the ammo inside of deterrent and uh, repair everything that we have for that day 21. I think that's the plan, Ferb. I think that's the plan. I'm freezing. I shouldn't be. I got so much clothes on right now got a lot of clothes on how am i freezing i should not be freezing this is actually a different way i've noticed usually whenever we do quests we go like right behind our base but this is like to the left a little bit i like it a little southwest action okay i think this might be uh the first time we've gone over here realistically at least it doesn't seem familiar to me <laughs> Let me know if anything's familiar to you guys, but it definitely doesn't seem familiar to me. 200 meters away. Is there a town over here? Are we still going to be in a snowbound? Probably. More than likely. It'd be crazy if we weren't, though. Oh, snap. What is this, a mansion? Hey, doggy. This is definitely a mansion. Yeah. How do I get in? Hello, knock knock. Access, please. Camera. I'm not sure how to get inside of here. I mean, I could just like build my way up, but like, where's the fun in that? <laughs> We're gonna do that. Cause I don't know any other way of getting in here. I'm pretty sure there's like a, a way to get in here though. Other than building up like this. All right, mansion. Mansion raid. All right, cool. Um, hmm. What is the way inside of here? So the quest is over that way, which means that's probably also the same way that we get inside, right? Realistically, I got steroids on me. Yeah, okay. a lot of bombs on the outside here. That's scary. Not too scary. Alrighty, let me see some action. 
I got a whole tennis. I got a whole tennis court in their mansion, bro. Look at this. I got a whole tennis thing in here. A whole gym. Private gym. Take that. They got a whole private gym in here. That's nuts. Bones. They got bones in here. That's crazy. Water. Thank you. A little freeze. Uh, hello. Everyone's dead. <laughs> a whole pool with a little slidey. Ah, uh, you're moving a little bit too fast. Hello. All right. Got too much dip on your chip. Too much dip on your chip. Too much. Oh. Too much dip on your chip. Too much dip on your chip there. You mutated and in infected soldiers on me. Too much. I had to whip out the guns for you. I was not going to go up to you and hit you with a bat. This water looks crazy. Nice little yucca plant. I don't really see yucca plants like that. There's probably nothing over that way. All right. It's a campfire. Like an actual legit campfire. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming um, we go into this. No, that's locked. Definitely down here. Yeah. All right. It's pretty nice of them. A little workbench. Uh, why not? Why not take the springs? Hello. Why did I always end up missing them? I always end up getting juked out by some zombies, man. For real. It's crazy. Oh. Alright. That was disrespectful. We're not gonna talk about that one. Big old TV. I see that TV. TV's fucking huge. Loot room. Nothing's in there. How do I get over here? I'm missing something here. Oh, stairs. Duh. Hello. No one? This is a big house. Is that mom and dad? Looks like mom and dad. Kids bedroom. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Gumbo stew. Actually sounds kind of nice. Well, not mine eat it. Not mine eating some gumbo stew. Anyone else? Pretty sure we're supposed to go up those stairs. Right, we're supposed to go up those stairs. Yeah, it seems like it. Clothes, laundry room, garage. Where's that zombie? I heard him. Oh, shit. <laughs> My man fell from the sky, bro. I don't think we're supposed to go up there. That's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> just fell from the sky doorknob take that all right hello hello we are now in the ceiling apparently dog dog in the ceiling see a dog house dog house no dog dog house no dog wow okay um this way i am a little lost just a little aha 
This is this is just one big maze at this point. One big maze. We're supposed to go that way, right? At least I think I am. Let's uh, I'm just look up. Yeah, I think we're supposed to go this way. I mean, it's so, like it's like a door, and then maybe we fall down into here. That would make sense to me. And then we go into there. Yep. You die while taking a bath, my friend. It's one way to go out. This is just one big maze, bro. I like I'm so lost at this point. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go down the ladder, but this is here. <laughs> you know, like this is here. Maybe there's uh something we're missing here, potentially. Was this the front door? Oh, we've been in here already. Yeah, okay, so this is just like an easier way to get to the front door, basically, okay. Okay, in that space, or in that, not space, what? Oh. Yep, I knew it. Hello. Any more? Not too bad. Is there anything up here? Oh. Where's the dog? Sounds like it's above me. Definitely sounds like there's a dog above me. Oh, if he gets here, we'll kill him. We're not scared of no dog, right, guys? You're scared of a dog. I'm not scared of the dog. Obviously, it's you. It's locked. And we now have no idea where to go. There's a lot of stuff in there. That's definitely the loot room. No chance it's not the loot room. How do we get... Wait. That did something. Aha! Let's uh, not fall down there. Is that a ladder? Okay, so we have a ladder to come back up if we do fall. So, whoop. And whoop. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's a prison, bro? What the fuck? What y'all got going on in here? Under a mansion? Keep in mind, this is all under a mansion. Like, that's a whole prison. And these are whole chains. Like, bro, what did y'all have going on under y'all's mansion, bro? Look at all of this. This is not normal. This is this a sex dungeon or like, oh, hello. Zombie just breathed his last breath. I swear he went like, Ooh, or something like that. Gun rack. Garbage. You a little bit too strong, sir. Thank you. Close that door as well. Just because I have to unlock this. See what's in here. You never know. I found a level five AK in one of these before, okay? It might be small, you know what I mean? It might be small and it might be annoying to unlock because it, it eats up your lock picks, but sometimes this little guy is definitely worth it. Most of the time he's not, but sometimes just that little bit of chance, he's worth it, I'm telling you. As soon as he wants to open up. Yep, this one's gonna be annoying. We got a lot of lock picks though, so. All right, we got like uh, 29. He should definitely open up before 29 log picks are being used. Realistically. Hopefully. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And oh, oh, what did I say? Definitely not worth the 29, or not 29, but however many log picks were used there. Definitely not worth it. 
But we still did it. Because I wanted to. Now we go down here and zombie galore? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. That's fair. Wow. There's a lot of guns in there. Hello, sir. It's a big generator. I can just imagine a nighttime quest here. I've seen like maybe three generators so far. Like, like our quest isn't a generator quest, but like you could definitely see a generator quest going down here. Just because of how many um how many generators we've seen so far. It's been a lot of them. That's locked. Okay, so I No, we don't go up there. Where do we go? Do we go out there? No way, we was just out there. I want to get to that loot room right there. That's what I want. I don't know how to get over there, though. And that just goes inside of here. Maybe we're supposed to go up here? Yep. I ain't playing with y'all. It's too many of y'all. I'm not playing with y'all. Too many. Too many in one confined space. That's how they do you, bro. That's how they do you. They'll just hire like a shit ton of zombies in one spot. Be like, look at us, look at us all. We're coming to kill you. And like, look at a few of them running. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zombies or something like that. Too many zombies. But it is right next to the loot room. Which is somewhere around here. So, oh. No, not this loot room. This is the loot room, but I want the other one. It had like, like two or three uh, wall racks of guns. Like I'm definitely gonna find a gun. In there. I'd be surprised if I didn't. This one's this one's like a this is like the level one loot room, right? We're not at the loot loot room. We're not there yet, but you know, this is like the beginner loot room. This is like I'm going to tease you type loot room. And it's definitely teasing me because this is probably the only good loot that's in here. Just this hardened chest. All the other good loot is non-existent because it's not it's not there. Until we get to that loot loot room. That loot loot room is what we want. If this thing ever opens. Holy crap. I'm gonna run out of lockpicks at this rate. There we go. And level one steel spear. Trash. We'll keep the burning shaft. Keep the ammo. That's all we keep. Now, if we could find uh, something to get rid of my infection in here, that, not that. That would be amazing. Never say no to ammo, guys. Never, ever, ever say no to ammo. Just say no to these crates, because these crates are indeed garbage. But when it comes to ammo, never say no to ammo. You'd be a fool. Okay, now that that's pretty much looted. After you go up the ladder into this area, you have to go here. There's an upstairs area we can go up, or we could uh, follow this down there. And that just leads to there, pretty much. This doesn't go anywhere, does it? No. Okay, so we got three areas to go to. I'm gonna go up the, um, I'm gonna go up the stairs. Because if I fall down into that hole, I'm not going to be able to get back up, right? So. Oh, there's nothing here. Unless we make it something here. Of course. Yeah, that's 10k, yeah. Alright, now we know to never go up the stairs. Never go up the stairs, noted. Which means this is our only way. And it's the loot room. No zombies in here, though? I'm surprised. How the fuck do we leave? Okay. 
I don't see a button or anything. I'm assuming we just gotta go right back out that way or something, maybe? I don't know. Interesting. Either way, um, let's go ahead and get the <laughs> get to the looting today. Uh, shotgun parts, we'll take that. Everything else is useless. Ammo. Take both of those. Weapons rack. Ooh, level six iron legs. Thank you. Our legs are level five, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, they're level six, but they're not iron. They're, uh, yeah, the iron one's a little bit better. So we'll definitely take that. Weapon rack number two. Ooh, got a compound bow. That's kind of interesting. Ammo display, gunpowder. Nice. Equipment rack. Iron heads. We don't really use uh, arrows. Okay. Okay. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Just a little bit, but we do have a gun safe here. We do got a gun safe. We got the compound bow. I don't think we have a compound bow. I've always wanted to use bow and arrows on this game. Definitely not going to be the series. Maybe the next one, but I've always wanted to use bows and arrows. I think it's, uh, it could be interesting, you know, using bows and arrows versus like automatic weapons or like melee weapons. You just like bow and arrow. It'll definitely be harder, but it could be more fun as well. What are we at? We're at 1900 right now. So we got about three hours until the zombies start running. Um... Which I definitely need to do this quest. So we're not running away at all. I think that'd be good. We just gotta figure out how to get the heck out of here. I was hoping I'd be able to like press a button on there and like uh, unlock something, but that is not the case. Okay, I'm definitely not missing anything here. This is like, yeah, that's 10K. Yeah, we definitely gotta build our way back up here, I think. Whoa, I'm in the wall, question mark? Excuse me? Um, what? There we go, I was legit in the wall, like, wow. That's not scary at all. I can't jump out of here. This thing is 5K! Oh my gosh. I think we have to destroy this. What am I hitting? Can I not? Bro, am I stuck? Hold up, bro. There's got to be a way out of here. I'm missing something because there's no way. Can I get out that way? Okay. I still feel like I was like high key missing something there. Oh, did I just eat glass? What in the world? What? Bro. Did that just happen, bro? Bro. Alright guys, I appreciate you guys watching today's episode. Um, you know, I'll, I'll check you guys back on the next one. Um, yeah, you know, the next one, next one, okay? Next one's gonna be long. We're gonna do day 21 next episode, okay? Okay, I'll see you guys later.